So welcome to sunny Spain, Marbella. We are here. There's a massive mountain in the background over there. We will turn this way so the sun's the right way around. So we're here, Marbella. It's going to be a full vlog of my trip here. Uh, I'm trying to film the important, exciting bits. I'm already out of breath because I'm around upstairs to get up here. It's the top of UP Marbella, which is an incredible gym. We'll be training at primarily here whilst here. Today going to crush back session, show you a few little clips, sail along for the ride. Size. I think I can do about five. Jack reckons he can probably not do five. So we're going to do one body weight and then one banded with a very light band. With my little eye, a 1980s looking Jack tennis player. On that note, session wrapped up, taking the stupid thing off. Uh, Jack is still alive somewhere over there, so the gym is mega. I might do a little clip of this before I leave next, and we're gonna go ahead for some food at the mystery spot and hopefully enjoy some sunshine. What have you got, Jack? Turkey steak. That's not Ju turkey. Normally, I asked for turkey steak. Got beef steak, Jamaican rice, broccoli, and a fruit bowl coming up. Okay, so I've got over there one anabolic chicken wrap, and then we've got protein pancakes coming next. Okay, so we're now the day after the day yesterday. We have obviously not at wherever I left this video off, which was eating food. We are now at Plaza Beach after training legs again. Me and Jack are having a debate who's looking very tanned and shredded over there. And whilst do we look like a gay couple because we get people stare at us and there's two Jack's blokes on a massive bed on our own. He says he needs a sea basket and needs food. I'm just necking orange juices and stuff to try and not have a hypo because I need about a million grams of carbohydrates today. Here, one ginger detox. Jack, what have you got? Ginger and pear, I think it is. I'm not too sure. So the, most, the most manly drink, so refreshments after our five kilometer walk. After a little mandate. Yeah. So here we are, back to the scene of the, of the beach. It's supposed to be 37 degrees today and I had the realisation that it's only Friday and this is a working day and I have just come back from doing two hours of full-on work earlier on um, after we went for the walk to, from Banus to Marbella so 
that's pretty much all my work done for the day other than just working a bit on my phone. So we're going to enjoy, celebrate the Forbes article that I uh, was featured in in the top fitness coach in the world, which is pretty insane really when you think about it. If you agree and think that's insane, drop a comment below. Um, yeah, so we're going to make the most of the day. It's supposed to be 37 degrees, get tanned as hell. I'm starting to turn mixed race and see what happens. Okay, so we're here the day after La Sala and enjoying a few cocktails last night. Feel a bit shitty, we are in Club Paddle. Jack's over there, still off the cars. Pretty cool outside gym. Something a bit more different from a slightly less intense session today because I'm not full ball. So we won't be doing it in kind of bench, we'll be sticking to machines, playing safe, and running through an enjoyable session. <laughs> So we do shoulder press, second exercise, now moving to exercise three. And we're doing a neutral grip chest press. And we have discovered possibly the greatest neutral grip chest press ever. I have no idea what brand or make this is. New favorite. Some ropey Spanish brand. Power grip's phenomenally good because the back pad almost curves in. It lets your scapula and shoulder blade move freely. Okay, so we're now into the next day. It is Sunday AM, it is early. We are training, it's 9. But if you can see on the clock up there, Two exercises in, and for the first time in a long time, I'm training fasted. I actually feel great because we're training so early that I wouldn't normally uh, eat food at this time. So uh, I didn't really want to eat and then be really bloated. So just having an intra workout drink, which is the key for training fasted. Fasted dosing carbohydrates, essential amino acids, uh, glutamine, creatine. That's goat. So I'm going to train back today, some arms and delts, and then go for food later on for lunch and dinner, which again, because I'm Eating out twice a day, uh, not eating before training allows me to have more calories for later on to enjoy. So, that's training session wrapped up, so I actually get a piece of mine. And after breakfast, after training, two pieces of toast. Technically, I can, that's one piece of toast cut in two. So, I've got that and egg white omelette and uh, fruit salad somewhere over there. Jack's got a demolished chicken. Have you got Jack? Chicken, veg, and fruit salad as well. It was a mountain beforehand, though. See, that, that took longer than this. That actually took longer. The irony and egg white omelette took 45 minutes. I think they'll be getting the eggs from chicken. Okay, so welcome to the next day of the day after tomorrow. We are now in UP again. So, yesterday we filmed for vlog. We filmed for a full chess session, which will also be up on the channel with Jonathan from Sweden. Today we're going in for deadlifts, so we will show you some of the footage of that. Returned. That was a hugely eventful leg training session today. It was incredibly hot, incredibly humid. It reminded me when I went to Mexico a few days, a few years ago, and we were discussing humidity. However, uh, trained with them for some food at Gym Junkie Cafe. It was very nice. And then I went to go see Arash the Magician. So Arash is like a, a sports therapist, acupuncturist, general uh, G and general magician. And what he actually taught me, I mentioned to him that I wanted to learn acupuncture. He taught me to do acupuncture on myself, which was quite interesting actually. And he's got his own little special technique, which I'm gonna do a separate YouTube video on, so stay tuned for that. And he also gave me 200 acupuncture needles. Ooh. 
to practice on myself, which can only go wrong. The advice he gave me was to stay away from your neck and any nerves in your back, and you're pretty much good to go. Another gift he also gave me, as well as this green mud, apparently, that helps with recovery, reduces inflammation. Unique freshwater green mud. We shall see. Maybe another YouTube video pending. However, this is the end of this Spain trip. I am flying home to the UK tomorrow. I spent £300 on a COVID test yesterday. Joys. However, I will be going to Dubai in two weeks' time. So we'll see you there. Uh, I'll probably have some more videos before then. I hope you found the video helpful, insightful. You saw some of my trip here. Just try and want to take you guys along for a ride. Drop below any questions, comments, any more content you want to see. Smash the subscribe button, hit the like, and we'll see you in the next video.